The talk shall now be about how do you initialize a single dimensional array and how do you go about printing the elements of a single dimensional array. We've already done something like this before, but just to get the concept a little more clear, I'm doing one more example. So what this array is doing is, let us say the indices or the subscripts represent the roll number of a student and all these are marks in a subject okay let's say i only have 10 students in my tutorial class and i have given them roll numbers starting from 1 to 10 and each of these values 70 90 55 represent the marks they have got say in a test of english so what i have done is i have declared an integer variable called as roll number i have declared an integer array marks of size 10 so in the 0th position 70 is existing, 1st position 90 and in the 9th position 20. So totally I have marks of 10 students and these are the 10 marks. Now what I am doing is if a student gives me a roll number, I am going to write a program to print and tell him what his or her marks are in the subject of English. So first I am asking the message enter the roll number of the student. Then I am doing scanf percentage d address of roll number let us say somebody enters the roll number as 2 although he or she is entering the roll number 2 since i am starting from 0 90 will be my roll number 2 if i try to print marks of 2 it is going to print 55 which is not correct i need to print marks of 1 because i am starting from 0 so what i am doing is i am reading the roll number into a variable called as roll number then marks of roll number, let's say roll number 2, okay, is equal to roll number is 2, marks of roll number minus 1. I am doing roll number minus 1 because I am starting from 0. So 2 minus 1 is 1, marks of 1 is 90. So marks of student roll number 2 is 90. Let me take one more example. Let's say I want to find the marks of roll number 10. So I read the roll number as 10. So I say marks of roll number percentage D percentage D. The first percentage D is going to print the roll number. Marks of roll number minus 1. Roll number is what? 10. This array has only elements starting from subscript 0 till 9. There is nothing called 10. So roll number 10 indicates actually position 9. So I am doing roll number minus 1. So when I do marks of roll number minus 1, 10 minus 1 is 9. Marks of 9 is going to print as 20. So the marks of roll number 10 is actually going to print as 20. Now we'll do this program in a slightly different way. Here what I'm going to do here is I am going to read the marks of 10 students and simply print those marks. So using hash define I have declared max as 10. In a lot of my programs, when I'm explaining, I may not include the header file just to save a little space. Unless the header file is important, then only I will include it in case I need you to know about the header file in particular. So max is 10, marks is size is 10, the subscript starts from 0. I am asking the user to enter marks for 10 students. For i is equal to 0, i less than max. I am reading starting from the 0th location address of marks of i. So let's say I enter 70. So marks of 0 is going to be 70. i becomes 1. When i becomes 1 next time scanf is going to be marks of 1th position is going to be 90. So this way I am going to read the marks for all the 10 students. Now if I want to print the marks for the 10 students what I am going to do here is I am going to again use the for loop. I am going to say for i is equal to 0, i less than max, i plus plus. But since I am going to indicate the roll number, if I say somebody's roll number is 0, it will confuse them. So what I am doing is I am in, when I am printing, I am adding 1 to the subscript. So when i is 0, it will print the marks for roll number 1. Marks of student 1, marks of 0, it's going to print say 70. I becomes 1 then roll number 2 marks of 1 mark of 1 is going to print 90 then I becomes 2 when I becomes 2 
2 plus 1 so for student 3 marks of 2 is going to be 55 so this way it will continue to print the marks of all the 10 students on your output screen I had already told you there is no simple way of printing all the array elements in one shot using the printf or scanf you must use some loop either the for or while almost every time you will generally be using the for loop for printing elements of the array because it provides you facility to initialize check the condition and increment in a very compact manner